Hello my lovelies and welcome to my channel in case this is the first video you're watching of mine my name is Tamara and I love filming these kind of like beauty, fashion, lifestyle, travel videos I don't know like whatever you guys ask me to film I basically film it and that's the sort of like unwritten rule to this channel today I'm back with my monthly favorites it's probably one of mine and one of yours favorite videos to film and watch um, I don't know why I just really really enjoy curating these like favorites for you and Every time while I'm like picking what I used a lot this month, I just feel like I really reinforced the love for these products and these items and I'm like, I forget something and then I'm like, oh my god, how could I have forgotten that? That was like such a favorite and so on and so on. I feel like I have a lot of favorites for July 2018, so I really should get straight into it because otherwise this video is gonna last forever. I'm gonna start with a very obvious one and that would be this absolutely stunning Zimmerman dress. I got this one online and it was 50% off so I will link it below for you guys to check it out. Of course I will link everything I mentioned below but I think this bit like a runway piece 50% off with plenty of sizes was just an incredible buy for me and I kind of like portrayed that on my Instagram because I literally wore it so much I took so many pictures in it that I feel like social services will come and take this one away because they'd be like Tamara, you are using and abusing. Literally love this dress so much. It's just enough for like day, for night. I went out, out in it. I wore it for like events, like work events. And I wore it for a day like exploring Mykonos kind of thing. So really love it. Feels very nice on your skin and it's quite airy. And Zimmerman is one of my favorite brands, which you guys already know. <laughs> I will also link the dress and everything else that I'm wearing below because you guys always ask me that you're always like where is the dress you're wearing from but i always link everything below i don't know if you watched my last video about bama blazers but i filmed one and i have to say that the black blazer wow seen better days i really need to like use the brush for it for the hairs because i've traveled in it and i wore it so much my black Bauman blazer would be my most worn this month because i wore it for traveling for meetings i wore it in paris i had two days of meetings in paris and i wore this one so much because it kind of looks almost casual because i wore it with like a black crop top with jeans sneakers and my dior saddle bag and honestly this was just one of my faves if you haven't seen my bama blazers video i have linked it below and also um you should check it out because i think you will like it if you enjoy these kind of things talking about dior saddle bag wow i'm getting hot already because i'm just like so excited about these things honestly has to be in my um july favorites yeah july favorites yeah <laughs> so some of you got kind of like annoyed about, not annoyed, but I guess like you commented about um, you not stating that this bag was gifted to me by Dior. However, I have this clothes in the description box. Sometimes I forget to say important things. I'm very sorry about that. It happens, I know, but I thought it was kind of obvious because I was one of like world's hundred bloggers that have featured this bag on Instagram as like part of their Dior saddle campaign. We all posted at the same time on the same date so I thought it would be very 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 obvious but I guess to assume is... You make an ass of you and me! Yeah. So yeah. I love this bag so much. Ever since uh, we finished that project, obviously got to keep it together with the strap. I will link both below and I worn it so 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 much. I actually um, worn it so many times and photographed it so many times that again it's like one of those pieces that you guys might get like upset that I'm wearing too much but I love it and it's going with me everywhere. I just think it's so unique and so different to any of the other handbags that I own. So okay more clothing and more Zimmerman. I'm sorry but you know guys I'm like a Zimmerman obsessed. This jumpsuit I've worn it so 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 many times a play suit I don't know however you want to call it. Um, it's like a short, silky, beautiful thing with a bit of a cleavage, but again, not too much. And it's sort of like stitched in around cleavage, so it just looks a bit frilly and it's not revealing anything. And it's not like, it's very, very tastefully done. Um, I love it. It's got like sheer sleeves and it's just got really, really nice feel to it when you wear it. You feel almost like um, you're not wearing anything that's like, that's just like tight and uncomfortable for summer. I really enjoyed wearing this. For summer days, like shopping, I wore this in Vienna, I wore it 
in um, Ohrid when we visited former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia and yeah like I just really really enjoy this place so I think it's such a fun one to wear so had to be in my favorites. Yes, I'm still talking about fashion and I've got these Louis Vuitton, I think they're like locket slides or something like this. Why do I always show these things instead of like this, like this? I've shown you these in my recent haul, like kind of accumulated haul. I've worn them so much. They're in size 40 because I always get the slides in size up and they come in all sorts of colors, materials and things like that which I will link below for you guys to buy. You can actually buy Louis Vuitton and Dior online which is something amazing and I will leave the website where not like pre-owned but actually new new which I think is amazing. So really like these. I think because they're tan color and leather they're just so easy to wear. What do you think? Yep, I'm still going strong with fashion. There's a t-shirt that I was like when I got at first I was like Am I really gonna wear this that much? Is it quite a bold, too obvious, Gucci, <laughs> um, all over it, like very 90s, but I actually worn it so much. And as you can see, it still has a knot because I wore it, I wear it because it's quite like oversized. So I like tie it around the like belly button area to make it kind of like Spice Girls, like 90s moment. And then wear it with like high-waisted shorts. I have my favorites from Girlfriend Denim. So I wear these two together and I really like the feel it gives it like kind of like a relaxed vibe. But still, because I tie the knot, it looks a little bit more put together and a bit more fashion. I'll try and insert the picture how I wore it when I was in Croatia. So yeah, really, really love this. And I think it's a beautiful kind of like off-white beigey color um, t-shirt. Mine is in size, this is where the size is kind of important. It's size small and it's oversized so so did you know what to get. I could have also gotten extra small I guess. Still not done. I have my beloved Fendi jacket that I've spoken also about in my latest luxury haul. So this is the jacket that I use so much for traveling, for flying, because I was freezing on the planes to and from Belgrade, from Paris, uh, to Paris on the train. Uh, where else was I flying to and from? I can't even remember, but I'll be taking another plane in exactly a week, I think. So this baby is coming with me. It's just like the most amazing jacket because it's not bulky. It's not like, I don't even know what, but it's such... A warm material and it like wraps me up so nicely and it's so fashionable that I just die 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 I mean I cannot get enough of Fendi logo so much so that I even purchased another Fendi logo thing but it hasn't arrived yet so we'll have to wait for that one a little bit more but yeah anyway obsessed had to lean down to get these off the floor so I don't know if I moved in the frame but the Louis Vuitton arch light sneakers are literally what I've worn so much in July. And I know you'd be thinking like, girl, it's summer, you should be wearing some sandals. High heeled sandals, platforms, and like shut up with your sneakers. But I love these for traveling. Like some people think they're just a bit ridiculous. My dad was like, are these your size? They look a bit like they're few sizes up. And I was like, no dad, it's just the back. Just the back of them, which is longer which can be quite inconvenient if you're climbing the stairs or like going down the stairs because you're like, like the stair is just not long enough for the shoe. But I'm obsessed. I think they add something very, very special to them. Wear them with my new D-square jeans and really like to wear them with like cropped jeans or like midi dresses. So yeah. Now part that I know you guys love, love, love is the beauty part. But before we get into it, I have to say how much I loved wearing my rings throughout um, July. <laughs> Why is it always so difficult? So I've got my APM Monaco ring, which is like, let's say number one, then Justin Clue, a gold, yellow, gold ring, which is number two, then Justin Clue double pink gold um, ring, which is number three, and number four will be my love ring with diamond. So love these, love, love, love. I kind of like stopped wearing rings for a little bit at one point, but now got, because I feel like my hands are kind of manly or whatever, but I really enjoy wearing these and I think they're quite cute. Also probably another favorite of mine would be my new watch. You, Some of you have noticed it, asked about it. I love it so much, I'm obsessed with it. I wear it every single day. It's a Rolex Oyster Perpetual Day Just, has a pearl dial, a diamond bezel, like diamonds on the numbers, and it's gold and steel, and I love it so, 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 so much. 
so yeah I got it at the beginning of July so now we can continue with beauty I have to mention fragrance of the month would be this Hermes Twilly I really enjoy Hermes fragrances I think they're very different to anything else out there Twilly is obviously something that Hermes is quite known for and this one has like a little mini 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 miniature Twilly around the cap it smells very sweet almost like candy like I'm wearing it today, it's very summery and I've really really enjoyed wearing it. I love the bottle that is so small that it can fit in my handbag. Not an Aramis handbag just yet but hopefully one day. And I just really really enjoyed this fragrance. Then as I usually do I'm going to speak to you about skincare. Now there's something that I discovered and I've never mentioned on this channel ever 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 before and that would be Augustinus Butter. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's called The Cream and it's PPC Cellular, Re Cellular Renewal Cream. It says it revives, rejuvenates, renews revolutionary science, biological wisdom. I was given this uh, moisturizer by the PR team and as us bloggers do get given so many things and I'm very grateful for that but it's just like almost impossible to test and try everything out. I was thinking like I'm never really gonna have time to try this I'm like really in love with my skincare at the moment but she convinced me because the lady that was telling me about the science behind it and you guys know being a pharmacist I'm really into science behind um, skincare products so she started telling me about the science behind it which use stem cell um, kind of renewal of your face and you need to use this for 27 days or 28 days because that's approximately how long it takes like four weeks for your cell turnover so you need to use it for around a month in order to realize and notice some results because so in 28 days all of your cells would be like new ones but some already start like some would already be renewed so like I'd say like you can notice some results around two week uh, use which is what I have noticed. I've, I've noticed like fresh look after two week use but after using it for a month you really realize like full effect. The thing is you have to use it when you're not using the serum because if you use a serum it already blocks the receptors so that the stem cells can't work. Um, so I use it mainly in the mornings because I don't use too much skincare in the morning or when I'm like lazy and I go out then I just wash my face and just apply this when I go to bed but I have used this for a month and my skin really loves it. To remove my makeup I've gone back to Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser Conditioning Face Wash. I love this. This is like very milky gel that removes all of my makeup. I really love using it. Oh my god how did I already finish half of it? in a month. I use way too much of it because I'm like I love it so much so I like like literally apply the gel all over my face to remove makeup and I just really enjoy the process and when I have this I sometimes use it like several times to redo my makeup throughout the day because it's not too oily so well in fact it's very jelly so it's just really nice to use it to do like remove my makeup and so on and so on. Love it. I don't need to talk about this a lot because I filmed the whole video pretty much about it. It would be the Foreo UFO um, device that comes with these two masks. There are like five masks, I think five more now on the market, or there are five more are coming, but at the moment I have Make My Day and Call It a Night. Now, I am working with Foreo on a regular basis, however, this is not sponsored. My favorites are never, ever, ever sponsored. It's very like what I really love and this device is just amazing I love it so much I'm gonna link the video to it so you guys can watch it not only I love it but like everyone in my house loves it so everyone's like can we do the mask again can we do the mask again because it just like heats up it like it feels really great on your skin it pulsates then it gives these like red LED light and green LED light and it's just so pretty and amazing and I love it so had to make it to my favorites. Then we have one of the older favorites which is Kate Somerville Exfoliate. I discovered this product first time when I was in San Francisco I think in 2015? 14? 15? Hmm, now you got me. I don't know but basically that's when I discovered this and what I love about this exfoliator is that it's actually chemical exfoliator so you leave it on your skin for a little bit it starts tingling and you guys know I believe in chemical exfoliators. But it does have tiny, tiny, tiny little particles, which are great because when the chemical starts di dissolving the cell membranes of the dead um, skin cells, 
then the particles easily remove them. So it's not like... Sometimes with chemical exfoliators, if they're not right formulation, they can still kind of not like remove everything. This does a great job. You have to be so careful with it because sometimes I get so carried away and I like leave it on and then get kind of a little bit red. So definitely use an SPF after this, but I always use SPF, so that's all right for me. So one more um, beauty product and that will be Tata Harbor Resurfacing, Resurfacing Serum. I love this. I love Tata Harper's resurfacing face mask. It's one of my all-time favorites. Probably one of my top three face masks in the world. And this serum kind of goes hand in hand with that. Love it. It's very like purifying. This serum gives you the useful glow basically. Like I love applying it at night, waking up in the morning and just seeing the glow. So I don't use it every single night. First of all, because I don't use serum every night because I use this now more often because I'm trying to like, you know, renew the cells but I love using this as kind of like almost a treatment I wake up looking glowy and fresh and I love that are we on to makeup now almost I have a hair oil you guys know I'm huge on hair oils probably my favorite would be the Balmain uh, overnight renewal or like overnight treatment I will link it below as well because I love it so much but this month I used loads of Gizu, which is honey infused hair oil, and this is the travel size. I have a bigger one as well, almost ran out of it actually. However, the bigger one, it's like square like this, but it's large, so it's sometimes really difficult to carry it around when I'm traveling. But I love this one as um, my hair needs a lot of hair care when I'm spending a lot of time in the sun and during the summer months and when it's really hot. And yeah, so most of you guys know Gizu because it's a brand by Megan Mersalaki, I'm sure you guys all know her and follow her and she does this so well, her hair is like absolutely stunning and I just love the smell of this, I love how it feels on my hair, I love the packaging mine's a little bit dirty because it's kind of traveled the world now because it's like the travel size um, they just launched it in July I think and yeah, obsessed, love it, I think this was a great idea next up we have few Hourglass favorites, I feel like Hourglass never ever ever gets it wrong from foundations to lipsticks to powders and now mascara I never want to run out of this mascara it's called Caution Extreme Lash Mascara I applied this mascara I went down to see my sister and she was like what are those fake eyelashes and I was like these are my lashes now the thing is I do take biotin capsules at the moment to get like better hair better lashes better eyebrows and everything else nails etc etc but also I think that this makes such a huge difference this mascara is one of the best mascaras I've ever tried in my life I love it so much and I'm gonna go after I film this video to buy another one because this one was sent to me so I tried it out but I'm gonna go and stock up because I'm so scared of this drying out or me running out talking about hourglass also obsessed with this veil it's translucent setting powder I'm wearing it right now which is why I'm probably not shining as much as I usually am i um, obsessed with this as well, used it quite a lot, it's just very easy to use, like translucent powder, it's kind of like your, you know, like, I guess standard translucent powders, but I really like that this, that this kind of like sets on my skin, but it doesn't take away the 3D of my skin, it, you can still see the highlighter, even though I like keep adding, because I'm very hot in this room when I'm filming because of the light, and I can't have the window open, but yeah, c'est la vie. Another thing that I'm so obsessed with is the Princess Cooler from Lancome collection and this guy is, is my favorite lipstick. I'm sorry that I'm talking and applying lipstick but I'm so obsessed with it. It's kind of like your perfect nude but it's also kind of sheer and it comes in this beautiful Princess Cooler for Lancome packaging that looks like this. I went to Paris with Lancome for the launch, met the designers, they were like so all about the brand about like development about the colors they wanted everything to be so like particular and kind of like it's not like oh Lancome came up with this collection and they just like signed their name off you know it's like they really are hands-on designers and so into the collection I learned so much about it and this by far is like my obsession product I'll insert a picture of my full makeup look that I wore when I was in Paris using the Princess Cooler for Lancome collection honestly it's probably one of my favorite Lancome collections ever. Slowly but surely getting to the end. You've probably all seen this all over social media and it's the Dior Backstage. This is the Glow Face Palette. 
I am wearing this highlighter now, the white and gold one mixed. And I often use, oh I love this so much, you can use it even with your finger, apply it with your finger as well. Um, you can also apply these on your cheek, on your eyelids, all of them, um, pretty much however you like. And I just love this product for traveling. I also have kind of like another face palette that I love so much, but this one is my go-to. I cannot live without it. I love it so much. It's very pigmented. It like lasts for a long time and gives me just the right amount of glow. Another product on my face right now. Most of these products are actually on my face right now. <laughs> Mascara, the lipstick, the, the highlighting palette, everything basically. Next up is the Terracotta by Galan. I think I probably mentioned around 20 of these products in my favorites so far. This is the new one now. It comes in a wooden packaging and it just says Root de Il. Probably killed that completely, so I'll link it in the description box. But I love it. These are the like summer terracottas, the ones with the peachy center, and the smell of this is just divine. I love applying this to my face, so I'm gonna do some now. I love the warm bronzy tone it gives me. I love that it's like very sun-kissed because of the peachy center and I love the glow. It's amazing. Really really love this product. Last but not the least is to mention that I gone back to my Tom Ford Brow Sculptor. An amazing 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 brow product that I yesterday got so excited because I thought I was running out of but then I found an extra uh, what do you call it like an extra this thing, basically. Um, so yeah, now I think they come with two. I'm not sure if you can like buy an extra like spare this tip cheaper, but basically I found that I had one in my drawer and I got so excited because I love this. Mine is in shade four espresso. Probably mentioned this product like over 10 times, but that's how much I love it. That would be it. Besides that, I don't know what else I have to tell you. I really enjoyed July. I traveled, but I had some time off as well. I enjoyed spending time with my friends and I'm happy to be back on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very, very soon. Bye!